Hello, Christ is in our midst. I'm Father Kevin Long of St. Elias, St. Eircon Orthodox Church in Newcastle, Pennsylvania. Today is Monday, January 17th, 2021, and here are the readings for today. The first reading is in St. Paul's letter to the Hebrews, chapter 13, verses 17 through 21. Brethren, obey your leaders and submit to them, for they are keeping watch over your souls as men who have to give account. Let them do this joyfully and not sadly, for that would be of no advantage to you. Pray for us, for we are sure that we have a clear conscience, desiring to act honorably in all things. I urge you more, or urge you the more earnestly to do this in order that I may be restored to you sooner. Now may the God of peace, who brought again from the dead our Lord Jesus, the great shepherd of the sheep, by the blood of the eternal covenant, equip you with everything good that you may do his will, working in you that which is pleasing in his sight, through Jesus Christ, to whom be glory forever and ever. Amen. And the gospel reading today is from the gospel of St. Luke, chapter 6, verses 17 through 23. At that time, Jesus stood on a level place with a great crowd of his disciples and a great multitude of people from all Judea and Jerusalem, the seacoast of Tyre and Sidon, who came to hear him and to be healed of their diseases. And those who were troubled with unclean spirits were cured. And all the crowd sought to touch him, for power came forth from him and healed them all. And he lifted up his eyes on his disciples, and he said to them, Blessed are you poor, for yours is the kingdom of God. Blessed are you that hunger now, for you shall be satisfied. Blessed are you that weep now, for you shall laugh. Blessed are you when men hate you, when they exclude you and revile you and cast out your name as evil on account of the Son of Man. Rejoice in that day and leap for joy, for behold, your reward is great in heaven. Glory to thee, our God, glory to thee. Continuing our readings from St. Nikolai Velomirovich, we have this hymn of praise to St. Anthony the Great, St. Theodosius the Great, and St. George the New Martyr. Above all divisions, above all classes, God stands passionless, the Lord above armies. The wealthy he does not despise, nor the poor is of the poor is he ashamed. Of the powerful he is not afraid, and to the sinful he beckons, come. He recruits for himself saints from everywhere. This one who begs and that one who rules, like a cherry picker who plucks only the sweet cherries, caring not for whether the branches are coarse or smooth, the Lord weaves all into one beautiful wreath. Only when the souls are repentant and holy, the wondrous Anthony fasted throughout his life. Theodosius trust nor treated the whole world with love of Christ. And George of Iania shed his blood for Christ. All three love the Lord eternally. The Lord does not have loathing towards his crops, nor towards his weakness, the weakness of the created world. Towards all he is the same, but toward him all are not. To everyone he is of service, to everything he is merciful. Always, above everything, and above all classes, Always the passionless God, the Lord above armies. The reflection today, St. Anthony teaches, love to learn to love humility, for it will cover all your sins. All sins are repulsive before God, but the most repulsive of all is pride of the heart. Do not consider yourself learned and wise, otherwise all your effort will be destroyed and your boat will reach the harbor empty. If you have great authority, do not threaten anyone with death, knowing that, according to nature, you too are susceptible to death, and that every soul sheds its body as its final garment. In Byzantium, there existed an unusual and instructive custom during the crowning of the emperors in the Church of the Divine Wisdom, which is known as Hagia Sophia. The custom was that, when the patriarch placed the crown on the emperor's head, he also handed him a silk purse filled with earth from a grave, so that even the emperor would recall death and avoid all pride and become humble. Today's contemplation. Contemplate the persecution of the Lord Jesus for righteousness' sake. His persecution as a child by Herod. 
his persecution as a man and as Messiah by the Jewish scribes and elders. His persecution as God by many of our contemporary scribes and elders, both Jewish and Christian. And may God bless you and those that you love today and always. In the name of the Father and of the Son and of the Holy Spirit, one God, amen. I thank you very much for joining today. I hope you have a great day. And God willing, we'll see you tomorrow.